Welcome to Audit the Audit, where we sort out the who and what and the right and wrong of police interactions. This episode covers agricultural code, the Fourth Amendment, and administrative inspections and is brought to us by Gavin Seam's channel. Be sure to check out their description below and give them the credit that they deserve. Let's dive right in and audit the audit. On the night of August 16, 2015, 46-year-old Lakeport resident Bradley Feynman, along with his two sons, drove through an agricultural inspection station on Interstate 80 in Truckee, California, near the Nevada-California border, in an attempt to film a video about the constitutional legitimacy of the station. After passing through the station twice without incident, the family was stopped and procedurally asked whether they were in possession of agricultural contraband. You don't answer questions. Rocking it. How you doing? We'd like to go. Hey, we're we're going to go. We're, you're going to go? Yeah. This is just an agricultural inspection. I'm wondering where you're traveling from. Uh, it's none of your business. None of my business? Yeah. Hey, Stacy, can I get your help out here, please? I'd like to, I'd like to keep driving. Um, I, I actually need to know if you have any agricultural articles on board. No, no, you don't. I do. No. Nope. It's my job. I, I get, we're gonna drive. But <laughs> we're gonna keep driving. <laughs> no. Thank no. you. See, uh, you're free to go. Your vehicle. Oh, okay. No, no, your vehicle needs to stay here. Uh, no. Yeah. I don't think so. <laughs> yeah. No. He's refusing inspection. Yeah. yeah. I'm gonna keep driving. Thank you. If you keep driving, I will contact the authorities and have them bring you back to the facility. We do need to conduct no. an inspection on the vehicle. No, you don't. Sorry. No, I'm, no I'm, I can't hear you with the window open. So. Okay, so this is a potential. Do you have a warrant? Do you have a warrant? You're not because you're not inspecting anything without a warrant. Okay. Do you have a warrant? I don't need a warrant. Yes, you do. Do you know the Fourth Amendment? <laughs> there is no search here. This is then you're inspection. not going to inspect. Well, you're speaking of uh, an amendment that specifies searching. It's the we freedom. It's a freedom from being person. inspected searched well no you're yeah speaking of do you know the fourth separate, amendment you're speaking of two spec separate incidents or so in other words i'm free from warrantless searches i there is no search here there is an inspection the what are you inspecting needs, the conveyance needs what to are you inspecting for agricultural posts. what are you inspecting we're inspecting for a number of different items okay. too many for me to go into with you at this time and if where like are you over, inspecting i can go ahead and no, I'm going to keep driving. Time. Well, if you do that, I'll go ahead and call the authorities and have them bring you back. For and what? That's, all, that's your option. So, what part of the vehicle are you planning to inspect? Well, we need to inspect the back of the vehicle and any ice chests you, you might have on board. Oh, you mean inside? That's so, right. that's a search? It's not a search. It is an inspection. It's not a search? <laughs> that's exactly what a search is. <laughs> Don't you understand the Bill of Rights? I'm not going to engage in this with you. In other words, you don't understand the Fourth Amendment. Well, if you'd like to travel into California without the vehicle being inspected, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Authorities and have them bring you back, and we will conduct the inspection. No, you're not. You're not doing any. You're not doing any search whatsoever. I've never said the word search. I'm not. I don't care what you call it. If you open up this vehicle to inspect something other than the Fourth Amendment. No, I'm not. You might want to call it something different, but if you try to get inside this vehicle, that's a search. That's a warrantless search. You do not have to say yes, but the conveyance will not pass this point. Yes, it will. Being you want to watch? Because it will. Are we free to go? No. So you're detaining me? No. So then I'm free to go? <laughs> no. You okay. are free to go. The conveyance will not okay. pass the inspection point. Am I inspection. and my property, are we free to go? You are free to go anywhere okay. you'd like to. In you can't seize my property. The conveyance will not pass. That's the my property. Point. <laughs> what I think is interesting is the, uh, the the variety of words that she's using. Instead of search, she's using inspection. So an inspection apparently isn't the same thing as a search. 
While an inspection is technically considered a search, there's a lawful distinction between an administrative inspection and a search executed by police officers. In the 1967 case of Camara v. Municipal Court, the court determined that because an agricultural inspection is not a search which has as its design the securing of information which may be used to affect a further deprivation of life, liberty, or property, and the fact that it is doubtful that any other canvassing technique would achieve acceptable results, the necessity for these searches satisfies the probable cause requirements. In the 1980 California Court of Appeals case of People v. Dickinson, the court noted that it is impossible for probable cause to develop for the plant quarantine officer to believe a maggot-infested, quarantined, pest-ridden orange was in the trunk of a vehicle, and that it is reasonable to assume that a piece of fruit or other plant tossed into the trunk may be forgotten or totally unknown to the adult in the vehicle. Given that the motorists are not taken into custody if they possess offending plants, and that the quarantine officers are looking for offending plants not contraband, the inherent time constraint of a warrant only hinders the effectiveness of the inspection stations and are in turn not a violation of the Fourth Amendment. Multiple other court decisions have affirmed that inspection stations are not in violation of the Fourth Amendment, and Mr. Feynman is effectively saying that his literal interpretation of the Fourth Amendment is more accurate than the plethora of legal scholars and professionals which have dedicated years to studying and understanding the law. Even though this is my property. What's your definition of an inspection? Looking in the vehicle for possible host material okay. for agricultural pests. Okay. What is your definition of a search? I don't have a definition for a search. I don't. You don't? I inspect. So you think that word frees you from the obligations? That the, you think that frees you? It gives you some right above the I'm Constitution? Not really sure, what your question is. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall issue but upon probable cause supported by oath or affirmation and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be searched. After a lengthy and unproductive verbal exchange, the inspection officer decides to return to her duties and contact the California Highway Patrol. Well, as I said, I have other duties to attend to, so I'm gonna go ahead and attend to them. Okay. You'd like to wait here for the Highway Patrol or you can wait in the parking lot. If you I'm not waiting the anyway. Then we'll go ahead and call and have them bring you. I think you've already called. I'm gonna go ahead and take care of my other duties. Okay, then we're gonna so, go. Thank you. Then we'll go ahead and have them okay. He has lights on, but I don't... And now he has lights yeah, on. Yeah, now he's got his lights on. Finally. Okay, well, he looks... He looks like he's a marked vehicle. Let me see your ID. No, thank you. I haven't violated any laws yeah, here. Actually, you have because... No, I listen, actually Listen, the Ag Station, you violated the Food and Agriculture Code by not... No. You either have to go back out of state... No. Or you have to be... Okay. I actually live in the That's state. That's fine. Truck. Trucky 109 uh, for requesting additional units. Can you tell uh, them around the uh, No, I'm not going to tell them anything. So, what's your name? Officer McDonald. Officer okay. McDonald. Okay. Why don't you just get out? We'll talk about it. We can straighten this out and you're on the way. Actually, I don't need to get out of my vehicle. You can Well, hear me. you kind of can... do because I'm telling you to. Yeah. Now, do you have a warrant? <laughs> okay, I'll be do back. Do you have probable cause? Don't leave, okay? Oh, I'm not leaving. Okay. This is a complete violation of my rights. Every single time we come through a, an inspection station, it's just, if you stand up for your rights, this is what you get. I'd like to be free to travel, and this is what I get. I get a, an overzealous inspection manager, and now a cop. All of them want to infringe on my right, my freedom to travel, my <laughs> the right of property to be free from search and seizure. Okay. Yeah, I have it rolled down. Okay, here's the deal. We're not going to sit out here all night, so why don't you come out of the car? I'd like, I'd like to go home. Do you have a warrant to roll search? Roll the window down. That's as far as I'd like to roll it down. No, it's not. Okay. 
Step out of the car and with your ID or we're going to have to force entry and you're not, it's not going to be nice. You, but you don't have a warrant. You broke the law at I the station. I didn't break station. any law. You did. I did. What law did I break? You broke the law at the ag station. What law? The lo California Food and Agricultural Code. Okay, do they trump the Constitution? California Food and Agricultural Code 5344 states that it is unlawful for the operator of any vehicle to fail to stop the vehicle at an inspection station or to willfully avoid an inspection station or to fail to stop either upon the demand of a clearly identified plant quarantine officer or upon the demand of the California Highway Patrol for the purposes of determining whether any quarantine is in violation. While Mr. Feynman did stop at the station, he did not allow the inspection officer to determine whether any material in his conveyance was in violation of a quarantine order. Come out, get a ticket for the agricultural violation, and you're on your way, or we're gonna, you're going to be going to jail tonight. What's so, your choice? So they have a right to search my vehicle or, no, without a warrant? No. Or you can refuse the search and, I go did back refuse. To, and go back to Nevada. I, I live in California. I get it. That's, you can refuse the search, but you have to go back to Nevada. So Do you have a warrant? Uh-uh. We don't need a warrant. You're in violation of the law. I'm not in violation of the law. Okay. Make your choice. I have, I have the Fourth Amendment right here. Make your choice. Do you want to go to jail or just sign a ticket? Why, why would I go to jail? What happens is now you're going to go to jail, depending on their age, they're also going to go to Child Protective Services. The You're threatening to take my children from me? Yeah, yes, we are. Wow. So come so, on out, let's write a ticket, and you're on your way. You can write a ticket and hand it right to me. No, I don't even have an ID. Let me see your driver's license. I didn't violate any okay, any traffic violation. Give me your driver's license and registration insurance. I'll write the ticket, and you're out of here. No, I didn't violate any laws. Okay, I'm trying to make this easy on you. I'd like to go. That would the be easy. The tape is going to show how unreasonable you're being, right? Well, actually, I'm I'm a free citizen. Did you guys take an oath to defend the Constitution? Oh, so you're a constitutionalist, is what you're saying? Yes. Okay. Yes, well, I am. Hell yeah. What are you? We've had problems. Did you? With this before. But you've, listen to me. you've what? What's we've that? Had problems with this before. You've had problems with this before? Yes, I have. Had you're a cop. With a constitutionalist? Absolutely. Did you Did you well, take an oath to defend the Constitution? Here, let's do this. You only have two choices. I'm not right? sidetracking. I have a right. To go about my business, to be free of searches and seizures. And be on your way. So Amendment Before Four says the right of the people to be secure okay. in their persons. We're gonna go we're houses. Gonna go, we'll right back. You don't want to listen. Oh, hey, one thing. Can you have him put his seatbelt on? Yeah, his my seatbelt seat is on. Can you just roll down the window a little bit so I can talk to you? Yeah, who are you? My name's Eric Strecker. I'm a sergeant with the Highway Patrol. Okay. I'm off duty because they've they're dealing with you. And yeah. I what's just, your badge number? One six zero three five. Okay, roll down the you. window so I can talk to you because I can't I can't communicate that, through a window. That's as far as I'd like to roll it down. It's not even down. Yeah, it is. Okay, so listen, it let is. me I'm just gonna be very honest and tell you how this is gonna go down. Okay. They need to get some information from you. So they, they have write, no right so hold to hold on, just listen. This is my turn. I'm gonna tell you how it's gonna okay. go. Okay. Sure. They're gonna write you a ticket and that's all this is can you put so I can just I need to have eye communication, what's all I'm doing. Just right. don't keep it in my face. Yeah. So he all he wants to do is write you a ticket. If you can't do that, this is, I'm just being very honest. We're going to have to break the window and get in and take you out. And then you have to go to jail. So this is totally unnecessary. And you don't need to go through this. It's unnecessary this on your part. I, I would like to travel home. This is your choice right now. This is not something I want to do. You're not cooperating. We've given you every opportunity we can. I haven't broken any law. <laughs> in the 1972 case of Adams v. Williams, the Supreme Court rejected the notion that reasonable cause for an investigative stop can only be based on the officer's personal observation rather than information supplied by another person, and declared that a report of criminal activity by a relatively credible source can serve as reasonable suspicion to conduct a stop. The court expounded upon the Williams ruling in the 2014 case of Navarrete v. California by declaring that even an anonymous tip can serve as reasonable suspicion in certain circumstances. Even if Mr. Feynman truly hadn't broken the law at the inspection station, the officers had been summoned by a reliable source, which gives them reasonable suspicion to execute a traffic stop. It is against California law for a driver to refuse to present an identification during a traffic stop, even if the driver believes the stop is unlawful. Mr. Mr. Feynman is committing an offense that is completely separate from the original agricultural code violation. 
do you want to give the driver's license up right now, or do you want me to break your window? I would like to be free of searches and seizures, yes. Unless you have a warrant. Do you have a warrant? Do you want me to break your window right now or not? Do you have a warrant? We don't need a warrant right now. You don't need a warrant? You not need for Not for a citation. No, you don't. You need so a warrant okay. to search my vehicle. That's Let's, the original cause. I'm going to break this one if you're okay with it. Because this I'm is not okay with you breaking any of my okay, property. Let's break the window so we can get All in right. and get them out. Okay. This is uh, film this. This is your choice right now. No, it isn't no, my not. choice. It's don't don't break my vehicle. The door's going down. Don't Watch break yourself. my window. I don't want you to get, get hurt. So don't break my window. You will be sued for breaking my window. You're, I'm breaking your window and it's, you're gonna get drug out and you're going to jail. You have or no warrant. What was the, What was the original stop for? Running the bug? Not stopping the stop sign? No, I stopped. <laughs> and he was there for a while. I filmed it. So we were okay. No. You didn't refuse an inspection. You don't have to be inspected. You can go back to Nevada and sign a piece of paper. And it's not That's a search. It's an inspection. Don't it. We don't want to search you. We don't want to search. I that, want you to sign a ticket right now, and that's it, and you're on your then way. Then give me the ticket. I need your license, registration, and insurance. A ticket for violating the uh, yeah, ag I'm inspection? Write you a section for the food and ag code for violating that section. And okay. then you can go to court on it. Believe me, I'd want to do it this way. I don't want to break a window. I don't have to take the kids. But I'd like to be free from all these searches. I'd like it's to be free to just search. go. Back. Nobody's searching anything. I will not search the vehicle. Just no. hand me that stuff. She's threatened to search my vehicle. I said no. I don't want to be searched. I well, just... if you're under arrest, we're going to inventory the vehicle. You need probable cause. I don't. We don't. He, he already we, told we, you. We, we, there's, Stop. You, you, there's, a, there's a food and ag culture that you went through. Do they trump the Constitution? Records indicate that agriculture is the number one business in the state of California. California produces 40% of the nation's fresh fruit, 33% of the fresh vegetables, and 10% of all agricultural products in the United States. There are 12 commodities of which California produces 90% to 100% of the crop. The purpose of the quarantine system and the inspection stations is to preclude admission into the state of 20 29 different pests which have been quarantined after it having been ascertained that they are destructive to the crops of the state. There is testimony that the only effective means to preclude quarantine pests has proven to be the system of inspection stations. Once pests are introduced into the agricultural crop, it is not a simple matter to eradicate. A real-world example of the damage that pests can cause is the 1976 case of the gypsy moth, which was trapped in the city of San Jose. The gypsy moth causes severe damage to trees during its larval stage and can fundamentally restructure the composition of forests. It required over a million dollars in three years to eradicate the gypsy moth from a three-block area. Not only has multiple courts determined that agricultural inspection stations are constitutional under the Fourth Amendment, but they are indisputably vital to both regional ecosystems and state and local economies. <coughs> I'm giving you one more chance and this is it. And I'm breaking your window. That's all there is to it. Well, you're going to violate my rights okay, then. Then I'm violating your rights. If that's what you think I'm doing, you I'm not going to get, a, I'm not going to get in an argument back and forth with you. Watch yourself. Guys, just put your, don't, put don't, your, break. Thank you. I don't, don't break. Don't break, don't, yeah, break don't break, don't, don't break the window. Don't break it. Don't break the window. Don't you break the window. Don't break the window. This is my problem. We do not Please consent any searches it. or seizures. Okay, look. Show us a warrant. We'll open up. I promise. Hey, look. Hey, look, wait, come here. Wait, one sec, one second. Just wait, Just wait a second. If you show me a warrant, I'll let you search the entire vehicle. I don't want to search your vehicle. I want to. See, I want you to put your little driver's license out the window, and then that way you can do it. If I'm doing this, you're going to go to jail. It's very simple. But I didn't violate any laws. Okay, so, okay. No, I stopped. The place to contest that. Okay. The place to contest that is in this court. Is your last... Not on the side of the freeway. You sign the ticket and you contest it in court. That's it. Okay. So you you're not... They're not being, your face. That's Cover not, your face. Hey, your the officers break the window and arrest both Mr. Feynman and his 20-year-old son, Vincent. The minor in the vehicle faced no charges. Mr. Feynman went to court in Truckee and was convicted of obstructing or resisting an officer by using threats or force, failing to obey the lawful order of an officer, and refusing to comply with an inspection. Vincent Feynman was also convicted of obstructing or resisting 
assaulting an officer by using threats or force. Mr. Feynman was sentenced to 12 days in the Nevada County Jail and 30 hours of community service, and his son was sentenced to four days in jail and 20 hours of community service. Initially facing felony accusations, the Feynmans were convicted of misdemeanors. Overall, Mr. Feynman gets an F for being grossly misinformed on the intricacies of the Fourth Amendment and constitutional law as a whole, subjecting his family to a potentially dangerous encounter with police officers to illustrate a petty and ignorant interpretation of individual rights, and for giving the constitutional activism community a bad reputation by engaging in poorly planned and executed acts of rebellion. As an activist, it is your duty to fully comprehend the broad spectrum of nuances surrounding your cause, and Mr. Feynman's lack of clarity concerning agricultural inspection stations and their association with the Fourth Amendment is a testament to his shallow interpretation of the Constitution. If Mr. Feynman's true goal was to challenge the legitimacy of inspection stations, then he should have complied with the ticket and used his constitutional rhetoric to potentially argue his case in a courtroom rather than putting himself and his family at risk. Mr. Feynman's interaction is a prime example of the reckless conduct which will ultimately have a devastating impact on the legitimacy of the constitutional activism movement, and I urge fellow activists to exercise a degree of caution and expertise before carelessly invoking your individual rights. The responding officers of the California Highway Patrol get an A for their unceasing patience, professionalism, and civility. The CHP officers exhausted all alternatives before forcefully entering the vehicle and attempted to reason with Mr. Feynman as much as possible. Upon entering the vehicle, the officers maintained concern for the safety of Mr. Feynman and his family and never brandished a weapon or threatened violence. I commend these officers for acting reasonably and within the bounds of their authority and for their willingness to compromise with Mr. Feynman despite the absurdity of his conduct. Mr. Feynman could have driven home with little more than a citation and a chance to present his case in a courtroom, but instead he solely escalated this interaction into an arrest at no fault of the officers. Let us know if there's an interaction or legal topic you would like us to cover in the comments below. Thank you for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe for more police interaction content.